All right, I'm gonna loosen up the rocker shaft. And what we wanna do is start in the center, and I've already broken this one an eighth of a turn. I've done this one an eighth, I've done this one an eighth, and I'm gonna come over to the next one in line and break that loose. They're torqued pretty good. So an eighth of a turn, to the next one in line, eighth of a turn, go to the end one. I want to make sure I'm doing this even so that I don't have a, um, a risk of bending this uh, rocker shaft. Eighth of a turn. Getting my Wheaties workout. All right, back to the center. Again, an eight. Once they're loose, they come loose pretty quick, but you don't want to overdo it because you want to allow that shaft to come up evenly. All right, from the center out is the secret. All right, I know the center's done. I can go to a half inch ratchet. This will make it a little bit easier. So loose. Eight. Watch your fingertips. I just smashed them into that rock. I think we're pretty close to being loose at this point. Ouch. Stop that. Get an extension. Put an extension on it. Stop smashing your fingers. That's my typical mechanic deal. You smash your fingers anyway, even though you tell yourself not to. side I'm going to stand on that side and then I'm going to show you a shortcut is to get the rocker shaft out of the way so we can get an injector out so that will be next all right the next procedure I wanted to go over is all right the next procedure I wanted to go over is to remove the rocker shaft and get it out of the way so what I've done is I've already taken all the bolts out, I'll loosen them up evenly to release it evenly, so not from one end to the other where you could bend it. Um, there are two of the holes in the rocker shaft are threaded, and that allows you to actually make an, a, a fixture. There's a special lifting tool for this if you want, but you could make a uh, lifting tool if you wanted to. But what I wanna show you right now is I want to show you, let's say that I've got a, 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 a failed injector, and let's say it's number two here. I've diagnosed that the injector uh, you know, is not working. I've checked it electrically. It's got electrical signals, so it's definitely an internal problem with the injector. I need to take that injector up. Well, i got to get the rocker shaft out of the way. I don't have to pull it out of the whole avenue, get it out of the boat, or anything like that, because all I want to do is change that injector. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all these bolts out, and then what I need to do is I need to carefully pull the rocker shaft back. Now, what you just heard fall down are the valve crossovers or valve bridges, and that might happen in this application. Uh, they're big enough, they're not gonna fall in downside the engine, so I'm not gonna worry about that. What I wanna do is simply evenly pull on this rocker shaft, get it up off of the base, and then I'm gonna slide it over here. Slide it over here. So what I need to do is take one end, just rock a little bit, make sure it's free, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the center point of these two, and I'm gonna pick one side and pull 
other side and just slowly work it back until it goes into the back side just like that. Now it's stationary, it's in a decent position. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, I can come over here and I can take my valve bridges off, right? And because they have been in this position um, wearing, I wanna make sure I mark them. All right, these have been numbered, but I know one, two, three, four, I know where they go. I'll get those out of the way, and then I'm gonna get ready to pull that unit injector out, and I'll show you that next.